<sighs> oh, fuck. Come on now, can't tell me you're tired already. Your training... It's gotten more intense since I was younger. <sighs> you were only a cub when I started training you. Now that you're older, you're ready for the more grueling workouts. And why... Why did we have to go all the way to Japan to do this? This is the country where I made my mark in professional wrestling. Using that technical skill you and I are both known for, mixing it with strong style, and adding that touch of hardcore for a violent combination. I've learned a lot here after leaving Canada. Learning every style in wrestling and using a little bit of everything to mold your own style makes you an even better wrestler. <sighs> Scurry. <sighs> Why did you vanish after your injury? Why didn't you reach out to me or, or anyone else? Didn't think you of all people would want to hear from me after I left home. You were pretty upset with me the day I left for Japan. Besides, who was there even to reach out to after mom and dad died? That's right, they... They did die only a few weeks before your last match, didn't they? Fucking hell. That just brings up the question again now, doesn't it, Ascari? Why didn't you come back? Why didn't you come back home for me? We don't have any of our family, Ascari. You and I... We're the last Frost Mains that are known. I was lucky enough that Kuma was able to get me out of there and... Let me live with him all the way in Sacramento, but... God damn it, Ascari. I needed you. I really did at that time. I wasn't in the right headspace to look after you, little bro. For all I know, I... I could have done something that I would have regretted. It's one thing to hurt yourself, but to hurt someone you love. I've always been a terrible brother to you, Maraku, and I'm sorry. I don't mean it. I was furious after my injury. I wanted to kill the man that did this to my eye. But I realized my opponent did what he did because of how I was. I'm no saint, Muralku. I never was. When I entered this business, I knew I had to push through to get to the top. But I didn't do it right. Everyone in this business does a lot of bad things to get to the top, but I backdoored my way to get to that spot. I stabbed a lot of people in the back. I made enemies, not rivals. And there is a big difference. I've always told you to fight with honor when you were younger, but I didn't. My anger got the better of me and turned me into a horrible person, both in and out of the ring. That's why I went away for so long to better myself cleanse my soul you're always a jerk even to me i hated you so long and i hated you even more after you just left without me a feeling your friends over at acw must feel about you after you went away hmm i <sighs> I don't want you to go down the same path I did, Muralku. My career may be over, but you still have so much to fight for in this business. And I want to see you succeed, but earn it in the right way. Yeah. Yeah, I... Thank you, big brother. There is one more reason I brought you over here. You have a match coming up. W wait what I went back to my old promotion. Wild Spirit Wrestling, WSW. They agreed to book you in a match with my greatest rival. The one who ripped my eye out of my socket. You want me to get revenge for you? Is that it? Not for revenge, little Murr. I want you to use this match as a learning experience. Regardless of the outcome, my old rival will put you through hell. And you need to learn how to deal with that kind of hell and fight through it. To fight for more than just yourself, but for others. You are fighting for me, not for revenge, but for honor, for mine, and for our family name. 
Now let's get going. Your match is in a few hours.
show respect, Moroku. <laughs> For an old bastard, Temujin sure hasn't lost his touch since I last saw him in the ring. I thought Temujin was supposed to be your greatest rival. W why did I have to bow and show my respect to him? A bit of a dumb question coming from you, don't you think, Little Mer? This is Japanese wrestling. Strong style. Very different from the kind of wrestling you see in North America. Traditionally, no matter how much you despise one another, you're still meant and expected to show respect to your opponent. Showing a lack of respect while wrestling in this country is heavily frowned upon. And it's why Temujin despised me so much during my younger days. Even when you have as violent as a match as an exploding barbed wire death match, a match that I've been a part of many times, you still show respect no matter what. Is I understood, Moralku? Yes. Yes, Iskari, I... I understand. I can see why this vulture was your greatest rival, though. Kinda surprised he didn't try to rip out my own eye. As I said before, he pecked out my eye because of the personal vendetta between us. He had no issue with you, but didn't mean he would take it easy on you either. Yeah, you could say that again. Ow. Regardless, you fought a lot better today, little brother. I know the training has been intense, but you're pulling through, and I feel like you're almost ready to go back to ACW. And when will I be ready? When the time is right. This is professional wrestling, but also sports entertainment. You'll need to wait for the right moment. But once that moment comes, you'll have to go out and make it yours. But, but when will that moment come? Uh, patience, little Murr. Patience. I have a feeling it'll come sooner than you think. Eskari, there's... There's something troubling you, I can tell. What's wrong? I wanted to wait until after a match, so it wasn't lingering in your mind, but... How did they die? Our parents, I mean. How did it happen? It was on their date night. You remember that, don't you, Eskari? The second Thursday of every month, they would always go out to dinner or to a movie or just anything, just to have a romantic night every month. From what the police officer told me, they were driving and unfortunately there was a drunk driver on the road and collided with them head on. No one survived that night. <sighs> I do remember that actually, yes. <laughs> They would always pick me to babysit you, watch your troublemaking ass. Huh. I would also remember every time they did came home from their date night, they would always play that song and just dance in the living room. To be honest, I always thought it was stupid, but I know that song meant a lot to them. You know, funny enough, I actually had that song saved onto my phone. I mean... It's kind of dumb, I know, but it's just something I want to hold on to me and remember them by. Uh, God, I miss them so much. Can you play a little bit of it? Just for old time's sake? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> 